What is going on? Welcome back to CK2 Game of Thrones as King Rhaegar Targaryen. In the last episode, we finished Robert's Rebellion, we crushed him and executed Robert as well. And then I was kind of hoping for the Tower of Joy event to fire. We even brought our troops in place here in the Princess Pass. I was told the top holding is actually Tower of Joy. And we found nothing. Lyanna is, uh, has vanished. She's gone uh, without a trace. And um, I actually now know the reason for that. I already mentioned it in a comment, but uh, just for, for those of you who may not have read it. Um, in order for the Tower of Joy event to fire, uh, we need one of Lyanna's siblings, uh, and at the start of this scenario she only has brothers, in, uh, alive and in charge of the North. However, right now, with Ned Stark's death, we had his son take over, uh, Rickard II, and Rickard is only Lyanna's nephew, not her brother. And so, the event didn't fire. In that case, what happens is, well actually there's two possible outcomes. Either Lyanna um, can just return, basically she just shows up and is just kind of there, you can marry her or do whatever. Or, and that is the case we had, she vanishes, basically she just dies. So... Yeah, that is what happened for us. A little bit sad, I would have loved it to come back, but that's just the way it is right now. Um, I think it's probably handled very well this way, because even, even if Ned Stark would have been alive, like it would have been very strange, actually, if Ned Stark had still been alive, but in our prison, if he somehow managed to walk all the way to the Tower of Joy and maybe even kill one of our King's Guard. That would have been very, very bad. So I'm actually glad that didn't happen because that would have been very awkward. Um, but still, of course, I would have loved Lyanna to uh, to be here. But I think we can still continue. Um, and yeah, I guess we'll start by having a little bit of an overview over what is currently happening. Uh, the realm that is probably the most important or interesting right now is obviously the North, the Starks. Uh, as I said, it's um, Ned Stark's firstborn son, not called Rob, but Rickard. He's in charge, he has taken a loan, that's fine, and he's currently defending against another Rickard, Rickard Carr Stark, who was actually the one who murdered uh, Eddard Stark, and uh, yeah, the Carr Starks, Starks are fighting for control in the North. Now, I've asked you guys what we should do. There are some people were saying, okay, uh, let's crush the Karstarks and their rebellion. I'm definitely not going to do that because now with Lyanna dead, I don't think that Rhaegar cares particularly about the Starks. I mean, we just don't. We would have not killed Eddard. We actually put him under house arrest. Uh, he was killed. Certainly wasn't nice, but I don't think we really care all that much, particularly. So... Uh, we're going to let them fight it out, but here's the one condition. Once we get our good friend, Vorian Dane, who's still imprisoned by Rickard, by the way, once we get him back, right, either if we can, yeah, if, well, if we can ask for Ransom, it would have been the easiest, but we still have our plot. Once Vorian is back, we might command the Karstark to end his war, because that's something we can do. But until that happens, I really don't care. I don't care, Karstark, Starks, whoever rules... It's not really my problem. Now, the second round that's pretty interesting is uh, the Rivalence because, of course, Edmure has been castrated. So the Tully's, the Tully line will end, especially with Catelyn having remarried uh, a Flint. So, you know, there is that. The Tully's will not rule. It's actually right now Rickard II that is heir to the Trident. And after that, that's actually Catelyn Tully, then Lysa... And then Celia, which is this seven, 70 year old woman. So we'll just kind of see what happens there. I mean, Edion could just live on for the next 40 years and there will be no issues. Um, but yeah, we'll just keep an eye on that. Now, I asked you guys what we should do about John Aaron and uh, Stannis Baratheon. Now, let's actually talk about Stannis first because we actually have a claim here. But I think that Rhaegar would not really care. It was Robert who rebelled. It was Robert who was betrothed to Lyanna, and Stannis did his duty. He didn't do anything else. I don't think Stannis is going to be particularly pissed off. I mean, he's not very happy. He does have a claim, a weak claim, on the Iron Throne, but we have a claim on the Stormlands. If he ever acts up, we can revoke it. That's, that's the way it is. But for now, I think we're just going to keep it. I think Stannis knows his duty. He knows... Uh, that he has to bend the knee to his king, and I think he will. He he simply followed his brother, and I think we can appreciate, or we can at least 
maybe not appreciate, but we can understand that. And I'll be honest, I have a little bit of a bias. I love Stannis. I can't kill him, so, you know, there you go. Um, but I think it, it, it's well within reason for, for Rhaegar not to kill him right now. One thing we will obviously do is we will colonize Summerhall, for which we will need a thousand gold. Uh, and, of course, Summerhall will then probably be made our new capital, but we'll have to see. Uh, okay, and then let's lastly move on to the veil uh, you've got john aaron there's also people say saying that you know we should maybe kill him take away the veil i don't think we should um i think we'll also keep john aaron in 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 command uh, but we and we will also retake the bite but um we are going to let the clansmen keep their lands. Now, one thing I wanted to change, we'll kind of have to see how that goes. I would like to at least return Pebble to House Prior because House Prior helped us during the war. So if there's a chance, I would like to get it back. One thing I should note here is that John Aaron actually had a claim both on Crow's Barons as well as the, uh, the Duchy of the Bight. I removed those claims so that once we take over the Bight, you know, make them our vassals, um, and then transfer them to uh, over to John Aaron, he can't revoke their titles immediately. If they act up, whatever, he can do this, but not immediately. That's my plan. I want the clansmen who have conquered this fairly to actually keep their spoils. Uh, you know, with the exception of, of Pebble. I, I kind of want to give that back to House Prior. We'll have to see how that goes. Also, the Royces are currently the clan war or in a war against the Graftons, and that is a war that will definitely command to end because the Graftons helped us. So there you go. Uh, I don't want them to lose Goldtown. And then that's something I have to do in between episodes. I will have to revoke that claim as well. Otherwise, they're going to just declare another war in 10 years. Okay, so that is concerning the state of the realm. As I said, we're going to soon go to war. For that, we will have to stand down our troops here because they don't actually help us anymore because Lyanna is gone. Very sad. Very sad, actually. But whatever. Okay, so we have our plot going on. Uh, let me quickly check what else I've written down. Right, so there's a few intrigue options we have to do. First of all, I think we're going to dispose of the wildfire. Our father has you know, had that done. I don't think we want that anymore. So let's get rid of it. You pay a visit to the Alchemist Guild in King's Landing and order the Chief Wisdom to destroy the Axis wildfire. Are you sure, Your Grace, he asks. The substances are quite difficult to uh, dispose of safely. I suppose we could if we were to dedicate ourselves to it entirely, but it would take many months. That's gonna cost money, really? Mm, fine, all right, fine, fine, we'll do it. I uh, wanna get rid of that. We do have our loan to repay, so we're gonna need to pay attention there. Uh, we definitely wanna call our court out of hiding, that's our brother, the Ceres. We definitely want to have a coronation as well. Oh, we could issue a demand. You know what? Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, let's do, let's do that and let's request a coronation. Let's see what the Starks do. Um, if Rickard decides to release Vorian, we'll command the Karstarks to stand down. I think it's easy as that. If they don't do that, we'll let the Karstark rampage. I think that's basically the, the best way we can do this. Now, the High Septon um, has accepted. Oh, no. I don't think he has yet, but there he, there he goes. He has now accepted. Apparently he's a wicked priest. Okay, I don't think I care about that too much. Now there's all these people that are not coming to our coronation. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I don't actually want all of these lords. Okay, those are quite a few. Thank you very much. So we click through all of that. And something else I've forgotten. We've got the coronation. I do want to have attorney at some point. But yeah, we've called the court out of hiding. Right. There's a few more things. Of course, attorney. I want to write a book at some point. And... I also want to quickly have a look at our council. So, Hand of the King, Prince Doran Martell, Master of Laws, Jora Lynx is fine. Master of Arms, Renfred Riker. We could change that to Barristan, um, but I think we'll leave him. We'll we'll leave him in that position. He's done well. I don't I don't see a need to change that. Master of Coin is currently Gilbert Faring. He's done a decent job, but I kind of want Tywin there, to be honest. Um, so let's let's appoint Tywin there, and let's have him... Okay, yeah, that's fine. 
Then Varys is master of Whispers, that's fine. Pycelle and uh, Septon. Now, we've got other council titles. We've got Master of Ships, Aaron Drift. I think he's fine to stay as well. But we do have two advisor slots. Perkin, uh, I don't even know what he is. What Perkin Boggs and Lord Eustache Brune. I think they can safely be removed. Uh, let's fire him. I, I don't think we need them. On the council and we'll instead reserve or we'll instead give these titles to yeah others other lords now one could maybe be mice tyrell after all they did help us um and then who else could receive that title maybe barristan I i'm i'm thinking barristan sell me let me quickly see if there's someone else here that might deserve that spot i don't think so I think, yeah, okay, I think we're going to go with Barristan Stanley because as Lord Commander, you should be on a small council. So there you go, Barristan the Bold, perfect. Okay, anything else? Uh, yeah, we can, we still have prisoners that I think I'm just going to release here. This is some, yeah, this is just some random person. And then Lord Manfred Lolliston, you'll be released as well. Good. I think that was all I wanted to do and we can actually move forward after only 11 minutes perfect we are we're fast we're so fast okay uh high loot ship okay yeah let's move forward just to get a few things done and ah I see no reason to quarrel with you I shall release the prisoner at once well that is great so there's Warrior Dane back home now we can give him only title or you know what Maybe I said, you know, I wouldn't want to uh, depose of uh, Renford Riker. Maybe Vorian. You know what? Okay, here's here's the thing. I'm not going to make him Master Arms just yet. But I will maybe give him that position later. For now, all I want to do is give him a commander title. Who's one of our weakest commanders? Renford Longwaters. Gilbert Faring. We actually do have quite a, good, quite a lot of good commanders. But yeah, Vorian, I want you here instead as a commander. Perfect. Okay, so with the Stark Lord accepting, I think we can command the Car Starks to stand down. That's what I said. There you go. They shall not refuse. Okay, we have succeeded our plot. Perfect. And we will spend enough money on the food to make it nice for sure. Now... Uh, I'm afraid I cannot end this war. My cause is just, and as such, you have no right to command me to stand down. Okay, yeah, I guess we'll, um... Oh, you will choose who receives the claim. Um, he will be branded as a traitor, that is for sure. But I'm not sure if that helps much. Yeah, Bronzion Royce, I think I'm gonna have to imprison you. Because, yeah... Okay, he's stood down. Oh no, he's... <sighs> Alright, this is being problematic. Why are you guys being problematic? Can I command... I can command you to end the war. You 12 year old, you should maybe... Not be as stubborn as your father. Uh, Bronzion is actually... Oh, he's joined the Brave Companions. Interesting. Now, Rickard Karstark. He'll be branded as a traitor. Have him arrested for treason. 75% chance to be imprisoned. Uh, sure. Have him arrested for treason. There you go. And Lord Rickard Karstak has evaded capture and he's refusing to come to King's Landing to answer for his crimes. He's now raised his banners in rebellion. What a fool. Oh, Prince Doran Martell will be sent to squash this uprising. That is so interesting. How is that... How is that a thing? Because he's Hand of the King? We can pay him money. His opinion will be reduced. Uh, Sure. That is kind of cool. So, Doran has declared war. Okay. I, I think that's that's cool. That's got to be one of the new things uh, added. I love that feature. So, you actually have the Hand of the King doing something for you. That is... Oh my god, this is amazing. This feels so good. That that feels so useful. Because I really have no intention of going to war with Karstarks right now. This is great. Oh my god. I, I love that feature. Amazing. Now we just gotta wait for the Royces. Come on. Okay, and... Wait, what? 
I will, of course, obey your will and end the wars commanded. Good. Very good. All right. So you now only have a weak claim, which should make it, you know, not as easy for you to, to take Gold Town in the future. Perfect. Now, I realize the Granisons, the Fells, and some of the other Stormlords that have helped us are not getting any rewards at the moment. We'll keep that in mind. Maybe if we need a Kingsguard, we can... Uh, we can uh, prefer one of their candidates or something like that but at the moment they've simply done their duty um, and and so they don't need to be rewarded immediately okay so is there anything else right now all i really wanted to do is uh we are crowned right are we crowned yet i'm not entirely sure we mm, mm, oh Okay, my wife Elia has grown old and less than attractive. She's 29. Come on. Come on, Rhaegar. Okay, uh, maybe a young mistress will bring some excitement to my life. Now, Elena is actually the wife of Janna Slint, and I gotta be honest, it's a very pretty portrait. So, I don't know, Rhaegar, it's... It's kind of hard to say because he's not a lustful character. He's not depicted here as a lustful character and he... Oh, it's because I wanted to fall in love. Is that... Is that... I have that ambition. Um... Chast, zealous, celibate. I'm sure my wife will allow me to indulge myself. Hmm. Okay. Um... My wife will probably not find out. Gains deceitful. Um. Okay, okay. Here's what I think. I think the Dornish, they don't really care that much. Our wife apparently still likes us, even though we did the whole Leanna thing. Um. We made her brother, Hand of the King. I mean, what... Do, can the Dornish really complain... I think right now we're just gonna take Elena. I don't know why. I I feel like, th okay. Here's here's what we'll do. We'll take Elena, or we'll try anyways. Uh, if she refuses, then that's fine. And then I will change our um, um, mission or ambition to something else because I think this event may be resulting because uh, because we want to fall in love. So uh, we'll we'll try and indulge once. And of course we fell in love. Yeah, obviously. Um, of course. Of course. And, um, yeah, I guess that's fine. <laughs> that's not great. Uh, is my wife angry? She apparently is not, so that's good. Uh, we must select a one of the East. We will give that title to John Aaron. That's fine. And, yeah, we fulfilled our ambition. That wasn't exactly my plan. Um, okay, let's let's keep her as a lover for now because we obviously we are the depressed in a way maybe over over the loss of Lyanna but if the, the first event that kind of comes up where we have to decide between Elena or our wife I think we're just gonna go with our wife and, and break up with Elena but for now we'll keep her around and let me see I think maybe a dragon egg could fit our character although actually no hold on I want a war chest I want a war chest because we need a thousand gold uh, to colonize Summer Hall. So I think this is the best kind of thing. We're not using that for war necessarily, but using that for Summer Hall. So we want to build that up. Perfect. Okay, and there is our ceremony. Lewis of Realm have started arriving in King's Landing for the coronation ceremony. They have been offered shelter, bread, and spiced liquor, as is their guest right. And over the coming days, there shall be much feasting before the grand coronation. Awesome. Now, there's one more thing we can do. Extort subjects. Yeah, we, we're not going to do that. Uh, of course not. There's a few people we can imprison. Sir Janna Slint. Wait, why? He has acted dishonorably to a... Has he? Has he? I, I would I would say we have acted dishonorably towards him, right? Um... Uh... Yeah. I think that's fine. Have him imprisoned. We'll take his wife as our lover. Um... I feel that fits. I feel that fits. I don't think I have to say more. Lord Howard Reed has used his attendance in the feast 
of the Feast in King's Landing to present a petition for justice before the court. He claims that Lord Rickard Karstark had one of his kinsmen murdered and demands that he's brought to justice for this. I'm not sure when news or how slowly news travel in the neck, Howland Reed, but the Hand of the King is currently dealing with him. So maybe if you could just, you know, shut up, that would be great. Lord Rickard must be arrested. Okay, that's interesting. We have another 75% chance. Sure. Um, and we were successful, but he's still fighting Doran. That is funny. Um, that is actually very funny. Tywin Lannister apparently really doing good work in King's Landing. That's good to see. And uh, I think he'll be banished to the Night's Watch. Also, what are they... Hold on. What are they even... What's this war? Enforce justice. I think if we move forward, this will probably end. I'm not entirely sure how this... How this works now, but yeah. Let's let's move on, kind of see what happens. Um, summer is near at an end. We'll have the usual reserves. As the feast begins, Tywin Lannister presented a petition before the court. He says that crime and banditry in Castle Rock is an increasing threat, and that the local sheriffs cannot contain the problem. He petitions that you send men and coin to eradicate the menace plaguing the area. Um. Really? Tywin has a smuggler's ring. And he's got a new wife as well. Not as pretty as Joanna, but okay. Uh, fine. Lord Renfred to deal with the problem. So I'm going to have to send Renfred Riker because you're in the capital being my master of coin. Hmm. I don't really want to make him angry. But there's a really big chance Renfred fails. Okay, here's the thing. If Renfred fails, he'll be replaced by Vorian Dane as master of arms. I think that's fine. We'll see how well he does. And... Oh my goodness. Renfred organized a group of men to tackle the bandits and rose. He successfully captured or killed many prominent criminals and publicly hanged them as an example to others. The problem has now been stamped out and Lord Paramount Tywin is satisfied. Perfect. Well, good for you. That means you'll keep your position as well. Oh my god, what's this now? Um, Precision for... He claims that... Under the command of Lord Ulric Orkwood, have been raiding and looting his lands, and demands recompense. Yes, just pay recompense. That is fine. And then, Mace Tyrell uses attendance, uh, present a petition for justice. Tristan Farwin has been raiding. Okay, so the Ironborn have been raiding during the war, and will order them to pay recompense. That's fine. Okay, Rickard Karstark will let him rot. Oh my goodness, can the petition stop? Seriously, let me quickly check what we do with our prisoners. Janus Slint is in there. We could just exile him, but he's still married to his wife, so I kind of just want to keep him here. I cannot command him to end his war. Yes. And, oh, okay, we have to do, deal with this. Okay, look, Ticket Lannister. Didn't you already pay recompense? Oh, I guess he's raided you as well. I mean, you've got the money still, so there you go. Just pay it. And Master Esmond Poole had one of his kinsmen murdered. I'm not too sure about that, but he does seem dishonorable. Who would he have killed? Yeah, pay recompense because I'm not really sure what this is all about. Let's just move on. Okay, now, uh, what, what, I, what was it that I wanted to do? Something about... Rickard. Yeah, I did force him to stand down, didn't I? Ah, there you go. Okay, so the war is over in ended in white peace, and your war for justice ended as well. Now, with Rickard, I will probably demand. So he cannot be banished. Oh, I need 20 gold for that <laughs> in order to banish him. Okay, uh, we'll keep him in prison for now. I think that's probably cool. But there is the crowning of the king. In the name of the Father, and so on and so forth. Today I was crowned by His Holiness the High Septon, and formally received the title of the King of the Andals, the Royal and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, and Protector of the Realm. Awesome. And that happened twice. Good. That is even better. And Sir Lucerys died. Under suspicious circumstances. I don't know why, but for now we have peace in the realm, and will soon declare the war here. Now I have to see. There's your claim on the bite. That will make him our vassal. 
And then, yeah, let me quickly check this out. If you have claimants, you do. Let's invite you to our court and we might be able to press that claim on, on Pebble. I want House Prior back in control. I might have to use console commands for that. I'm not too sure. Okay, Janus Slint, you are not, you're not un at all unhappy because I imprisoned you all. Dude, no, I didn't. Uh, we'll let him rot. We have other people we can imprison as well. Rickard acted dishonorably. Rook's Rest. Honestly, I don't have a problem with all of these characters. I only wanted to imprison Janus because I was boning his wife, so that's fine. But I, I think we'll end the episode here. It's already been going on quite long. Uh, we have been crowned, and next episode we're actually going to go to war with uh, that mountain clansman and bring him back into the fold, and then we'll work on colonizing Summer Hall. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.